I think I probably, from a very young age, from about 10 or 11, really felt like I was always going to, that I was going to be a musician. I didn't really know what that meant. I didn't really know specifically how I was going to make a living, but I knew that I could play the piano, and I knew I could gauge that I was getting better at it all the time. You think you changed to the wine, but we're going to drink the cup dry. Thankfully, there was a piano in the house because I don't know how long it would have taken me to figure out that that's what I needed to be doing if there wasn't one in the house. Probably my earliest memories of being like three years old and banging on the piano, and then about a year after that, starting to kind of pick out little melodies by ear, you know, and then by the time I was five, you know, my parents were like, well, maybe we should, you know, get him a teacher. My first piano teacher, didn't I was frustrating for him because he was very old school. He was from Germany. He was all about the fingering and practicing and getting the notes just right. And of course, by this point, by the time I was six or seven, I could hear something and pretty much play it by ear, but it wasn't exactly maybe note for note perfect what was on the page. So that was very frustrating. So when I was eight, I remember my parents said, well, you're not, you're not going to him anymore because he says he doesn't want to teach you anymore. So that was, that was, that was it. It didn't slow me down. I remember having a little cassette deck, a little Panasonic cassette, portable cassette player, and I would record things off of TV like the Carol Burnett show, anything that was variety television, and I would record the songs, and then I would go to the living room to the piano and play them back, and I would, I would teach myself to play these, these great songs. Now, when I realized that that paid off was my, really my first paying gig was when I was 15, and I was playing cocktail piano at the country club. My mother would pick me up from school and drive me, and I would play from four to seven for all the ladies that would come off the golf course, and they would request these songs, and if I didn't know it, I would go home, I would learn it, and it was great because they put money in the tip jar, you see? So I made it my business to learn all these songs, and you know, from, so from the time I was 15 or 16, I thought, I can make a living at this. Now, I'm not sure why I thought that, because you know, some, sometimes I still think it's hard to make a living at it, but I can't imagine what else I would do. I mean, music has gotten me through everything in my life. And Billy Stretch at the piano. <laughs>